Hi, this is Andy from GPS Training. What we're going to look at in this next video is Garmin's multi-activity high-end Oregon 750 GPS device. So this is the GPS device that we recommend at the high end of the scale of handheld GPS devices. Packed full of features, great unit, multi-activity unit for many activities. The version we're going to look at today is the, like I said, the Oregon 750. So the Oregon 750 is the unit that has the built-in camera. So built-in camera with the unit and it also we're bundling this one with Garmin's Topo Pro mapping. So this mapping is basically 1 to 25 mapping for the whole of Great Britain. It also includes 1 to 50 mapping and um, when you zoom through the scales but most customers who would be buying this product would be looking at the much more detailed 1 to 25 mapping. So you're getting the equivalent there of 403 Explorer maps, Ordnance Survey Explorer maps loaded on the unit, bundled with the unit. Obviously you do get the 1 to 50 mapping when you zoom out, but we'll take a closer look at the unit with the mapping. So it's the Oregon 750 with the camera. It's a colour touchscreen unit, so I've already got the unit turned on here. Colour touchscreen unit, 3 inch screen, Gorilla Glass, so very tough screen. The unit's got a high weatherproof rating of IPX7, so very tough, robust unit. And the screen's sunlight readable, unlike our you know, phone screens that we often tend to struggle with when we're outdoors in bright sunlight. On the back of the unit, we can see we've got the camera here. It's got a flash built in. It's an eight megapixel camera. We've got the spine on the back of the unit where we can connect accessories such as an additional cycle mount. There's a rucksack tether, backpack tether you can buy for the unit, belt clips, etc. If I take the back off the unit, you can see in the back of the unit, this one with the camera actually comes with a free set of Garmin's rechargeable AA batteries that you can actually charge in the unit. For high end use, we do tend to recommend rather than the free batteries that you go for some higher capacity, um, high-end sort of rechargeable batteries, such as things like Eneloop Pro batteries. Um, but you do get that free set of batteries with the unit that you can actually charge in the unit. So we'll just put the cover back on there. And we've got at the bottom of the unit here, the USB cover, where the actual USB connection is for connecting to your computer with the USB cable. So with the actual unit itself, I'm just going to look at what you actually get supplied with the unit. So of course, as you'd expect, you get a USB cable with the unit. You do get a carabiner clip that you can use to clip it onto your rucksack that slides on the back of the unit. And inside here, we've got various power adapters. It's basically a mains adapter, so you can charge that Garmin battery pack that you get for free with the unit, and you get some EU adapters for the mains charger. So that's what you get with the unit, and of course, with the unit we're looking at, it's bundled with the Topo Pro mapping that's normally £350 on its own, but we bundle that with the unit that brings the cost down. So what's special about this Topo Pro mapping is, it's the first mapping that Garmin have got for a handheld device that has what we call routable off-road trail data on in the national park. So if you're in any of the 14 national parks, you can actually use it a bit like, I suppose, a car sat nav experience where you can mark a point that you want to go to, walk to, search for a point using the search function, and it'll snap the route on the footpaths for you. Now that's just in the national parks, but a very useful feature. Obviously, if you're out of the national parks, we use it in the traditional way where we mark points that we want to aim to and draw up a route drawing straight lines between points. If you're on the road network and using it for cycling or anything else on the road network, it does have full routable data. Again, like the car sat -na -na nav experience on the roads. It's just when you're off road, you've got that new function for the national parks so that'll snap you on the footpaths. If you watch our videos on the rec on the Topo Pro mapping or under the GPS device on our GPS store, we've got videos showing you this Topo Pro mapping in more detail. So we're now going to take a look at the unit. So this is the unit already turned on. So when we call it a multi-activity unit, what we mean by that is it's got lots of preset profiles that allow you to be very individual with the way you use the unit. So we're looking at the hike profile at the minute. And if I tap further ahead, we've got one called Tour Cycle. So if you're using it for road cycling, there's various other preset ones, mountain bike, hunt, fish, etc. I'm just going to go to the last one, which is geocache. So if you're into the electronic treasure hunting, this has has a geocache profile which again it's just been very individual on the screen you can set up what you see what data boxes you see how the maps laid out when you're doing these different activities we'll come back to geocaching at the end of the presentation when I'm going to talk about live geocaching so we'll just go back to the hike profile 
and we'll just touch on the little symbol of someone hiking there and we've now got this ordnance survey map on the screen if i zoom out on the map page just by simply touching the little plus and minus bars and um, icons at the top right of the screen i can now see it's actually changed to a 1 to 50 map so the slightly lesser detailed scale so you do get the 1 to 50 map on the unit so we can see here we've got pink dotted lines for our footpaths when we go out of the urban environment but we don't have field bound boundaries but still a great ordnance survey map but if you zoom in further by using the plus and minus on the screen i can see now it's changed to a 1 to 25 map because I've got the green dotted lines, which is the symbol we use for a public footpath on a 1 to 25 map. And we've also got field boundaries now marked. So you get both sets of map on the unit. If we do zoom right out, you do get a sort of road atlas 250 scale as well. So that's just a look at the map. When you're actually on the map page, I can just simply swipe left or right. And it's got an electronic compass. So that means when we hold the unit flat or upright the map page will orientate the way we're heading when it's set in track up so that's what the three axis electronic compass does and when we're stationary as well whereas older units that didn't have electronic compasses you had to be moving for the unit to know which way you were heading because of the electronic compass when you're stationary it'll also know which way you're heading we've got a trip computer so if we look at the trip computer here you can put various boxes change the boxes from loads of choices of what you would like to see again this is how you can be very individual when you're cycling you might want to see some different data boxes to when you're hiking and because this unit has a built-in barometric altimeter if we were outside now hiking walking cycling we would see our height data appear on the barometric altimeter plot on the screen there now and now we're back to the screen with the map page on when you're out walking with the unit what we like about this unit from the bottom of the screen when you get a gps signal it'll prompt you to start recording and when you touch on the start at the bottom of the screen that starts a track recording of your activity that you can then look back at in the planning software base camp that you put on a pc or mac computer or what's nice with this this unit with the Oregon 700 750 series you can sync it with an app on your smartphone or iPad called Garmin Connect so actually when you finish your walk at the end and you select stop and you get the option to save that track recording you can actually play that back so you view it back on the Garmin Connect app on your smartphone good function of using that track recording is an emergency if you have to do a track back to the start of your, your walk because you're doing the recording you can use a function called track back which is really um, useful safety function so if I now just go to the cycle profile and go on the cycle profile what we can see here is we've set up the cycle profile so at the top of the map we actually see a box showing us our speed distance the next point if we we're traveling um, on a route and also an odometer trip odometer showing our distance so again you can be individual you maybe don't want to see that when you're hiking but when you're cycling you want to see that all the time on the map page you can simply hide it by tapping the little v at the top of the screen and if I go to the trip computer now on the cycling one again we can see it's just set up slightly differently but you can be very individual to how you set that up so what I'm going to do here is just go back to the home page on the cycling what we really like when you're cycling with this unit there's a new function on the Oregon 700 series unit 750 where if you use the where to to search for anything that you've saved in the unit it might be routes tracks etc it has this thing called round trip routing so if you're away from home and you're not sure where you're going to cycle it's somewhere you've not been before you can use that little where to magnifying glass select something called round trip routing I've already put a search in earlier where I typed in that I want to do a 25 mile circular route from my start location and when you hit the little refresh arrow it gives you three suggestions of route showing you the elevation and distance so if you select any of those routes it'll display an overview of the route on the screen and if I simply say go we basically get turn by turn instructions on the road to follow a bit like the car sat nav experience just without speech commands if i feel that the actual box at the top of the screen with my speeds in the way i can hit the little v tab to get rid of that and then all we see when we get to junctions when we're cycling we'll get these turn by turn arrows at the top of the map page on the gps showing us where to turn on the map when we get to the junctions and you get a tone alert from the gps as well so you're using it a bit like a car sat nav but for your cycling so we do like that round trip routing function so i'm just going to go back to the home page now and i'm just going to stop that navigation and finally i'm just going to go to the geocaching activity now on this unit 
just to show how that activity is set up slightly differently. So on the geocaching page now, we have permanently at the top of the screen, we've set it up with what we call a geocaching compass. So when you're out walking and you're geocaching and you're on the geocaching profile, any geocaches, which is this electro electronic treasure hunt, which is where there's millions of geocaches, which tend to be little plastic tubs hidden in the countryside under tree trunks and a grid reference. And the fun is you go and use the GPS to find that geocache and log down that you've found it. But you can do it all electronically now from the GPS. So it's telling me that there's a geocache 0.1 miles away from where I am now. And it's given me the direction on the little pointer at the top there that I need to travel to to get to it. If I decide I want to navigate to that geocache, I can simply touch on the top of the screen. It gives me a list of the geocaches. I can select the one that I want to navigate to and simply touch on go. And then I'll get a straight line to that geocache pointing me in the direction that I need to travel to get to it. And then when I get to the geocache, I can log that I found it from the unit. If any of you are into the geocaching, what's unique about this unit, when you link it to either a Wi-Fi network or pair it with your smartphone that has mobile internet connection, you can actually from the bottom menu on the unit go into the geocaching screen and on here we can bring up the map page and on the map page when you're out and about we can simply hit a little refresh arrow and what the unit will do using the Wi-Fi network or if it's paired with your phone it will download 25 geocaches automatically centered on where you are without you having to the normal way you would download geocaches would be plug the unit into a computer using a USB cable and download them from geocaching.com so if you are into geocaching it's a way you can do it live with this unit so just going to come back out of there now and go back onto the hike profile. The other unique thing with this unit is using the Garmin Connect store and um, this Connect app that you put on your smartphone or iPad, there's loads of apps being developed by developers for free that you can download to the unit. This could just be a different data box. Um, it may be, I know there's a new app out there now that allows you to see where certain constellations are, planets are in, in the sky when you're out doing a night walk. It'll display that on the screen. These are free apps to download. So you have this bit in the middle of the screen called I IQ and it'll show you any apps that you've downloaded to the unit from the Connect It's a nice feature. So that's a feature that you can download these apps. Now, of course, because this unit will pair with your smartphone, there is this app called Garmin Connect where when you've got it paired with the smartphone, other than the live geocaching, you can sync data when you've finished a walk or cycle ride that I've mentioned and also download, download sorry, these IQ apps apps to the actual unit itself so this unit we're looking at the dates it's the oregon 750 that actually has the camera so if i go on the back of the unit again we mentioned at the start it's got the camera built in so if i simply hold the button on the side of the unit here and then we get the camera up and i'll just select ok there and now we've got a camera on the screen and I can simply touch on the camera icon and take pictures. They're stored in the unit's memory and can be reviewed back on the Garmin Basecam software. You can see where the photographs were taken on your track recordings or you can just take the photographs out of the device to save and copy like you would normal photographs from a digital camera. When you take a photograph with the unit, it does geotag it with the date, the time, the grid reference and the height data as well from the actual photograph. So it's a nice function that it has the photographs in the unit. One last feature I'm just gonna look at on this unit, the button on the side of the unit that I held in to take a photograph, if I just press that once, it'll instantly give me my grid reference if I wanted to save where I am now or just read out to someone the grid reference of where I am. What we can do with that grid reference is touch on it if we wanted to save a grid reference for a different location to navigate to. And because this unit allows you to go in portrait mode, you can bring up a slightly bigger keyboard by going into the portrait mode, sorry, the landscape mode, or you can leave it in portrait mode for typing in a different grid reference. So I'm just going to close that down and we'll just cancel that now. So overall, we find this a really nice unit to use. It's got the mid-size screen, so three inch screen, good size screen, the tough Gorilla Glass screen, very robust screen. That was me just moving the map when I tapped on the screen. With it being a touchscreen unit, you can actually lock the screen by touching a little padlock symbol, which will stop you accidentally moving the screen when you're carrying the unit. But a nice tough Gorilla Glass screen, viewable in sunlight, 
The unit doesn't feel too heavy to carry, so it's a good size to carry. It'll fit on the handlebars of your bike using a bike mount that you just slide on the back of the unit. So I hope you found this review useful. Now, like all the units we sell from GPS Training, what you get with the package is our own getting started guides that we put in with the box. So you get our getting started guide showing you lots of tips and hints on using the unit. You also get access to our online training course, which is normally £25 for the year, but you get that free when you buy a unit for 12 months. Um, we'll put that in the box, all the information about all the videos and guides that are on that online training resource for you to view. We also give you a guide on using Garmin's free planning software. That will work on either a Mac or a Windows computer. So if you're buying a unit from us, just remember to tell us in the delivery instructions whether you're a Mac or Windows user so we can give you the right guide for the software. So you get all those setup guides with the unit. Of course, the unit's already set up for you by GPS training, so you get the little checklist, checklist in with the unit to show that we've set it up for you and it's all ready to go out of the box. And part of the package you get from us, this is all called our gold support package, which is worth £120. So as well as the setting up the unit, all of the extra guides, you get telephone and email support from us. You've got the online training course, and we also give you two free webinars that you can do you do in an evening. You look on our website of dates coming up and you book these webinars. You get one on using the unit and one on, on using the software where we're live. You get to see our computer screens, see and hear us in an evening from your, your home, just using internet access. You don't need a microphone or anything. It's purely done from either headphone or speakers on your computer. We don't hear you you just see us and there's a chat box where you can type and ask questions so you do get those two sessions for free as well so if you're interested in this unit you can find more information on our gps store from our website www.gpstraining.co.uk and if you look under the gps store you'll see units uh, the, the heading units with full gb os 1 to 25 mapping and if you look down in that list of units you'll see the oregon 750 the camera unit and you're looking for the version with the topo pro mapping so that's this new mapping that has the routable data in the national parks so i hope you found this video useful and thanks for watching